What's going on my fellow Kino Lords? So I just got out of a screening for a film called Dream Scenario, which stars the one and only Nicolas Cage. And um, I really didn't know much about this film. All I knew is that it starred Nick Cage and it was an A24 distribution. And um, the director of this film also directed Sick of Myself, which is a film that I actually have not seen yet, but I hear really great things about. And um, that's about it. So I went in this with the expectation that I just kind of wanted a cool Nick Cage performance. Uh, it's an A24 distribution, so I went in with the expectation that it's a, hopefully at least a quality film. And um, coming out of it, I think it's awesome. Uh, this is a film that I liked quite a bit. And I think there's a lot of, there, there's a lot of elements of this film that I think work really well. Um, but really, surprisingly, this film was a lot more comedic than I expected. Um, I think the comedy in this film really, really works. Um, I mean, there are so many different scenes in this film um, that I'm, just had me dying. Uh, and just think it's just really... I, in, some, in some points, it's very, like, lowbrow humor. But it works so well within for I guess the lack of a better word scenario uh, that it's presenting to us and it just it just had me dying and then there's other elements of the film in, in terms of the comedy that are just weirdly and awkwardly hilarious uh, Nick Cage in this film um, first of all excellent performance from him he absolutely kills it in this film which is no that's, that's no shocker on Shock Street um, but um, his his social personality in this film is just awkwardly and wonderfully portrayed um like his his social personality if you want to even call it that is so like disingenuous like it just comes off very like robotic and phony and it's just so it just makes for so many different awkward social interactions that work for that awkward type of humor and I just thought it works really well um I mean just countless scenes of Nick Cage uh, you know, trying to put on that social face and that social personality and it just comes off so plastic and awkwardly funny. I just really, really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, the, the comedy overall really works. And the concept itself, I think, not only is it like unique in its own nature, but I think the execution of it was done quite well. Um, and this is a concept where I thought like, other films would have done this and again maybe I'm maybe other films have done that have done it I just haven't seen them yet um but the concept is basically everybody around the world I presume is having dreams that have Nick Cage's character in it um not obviously like Nick Cage the actor um but the character that Nick plays that Nick Cage plays in the film for some reason, his character is appearing in everybody's dreams, and nobody knows why that's happening. And um, I just think it takes that concept and explores it quite well. Um, the first half of this film, I think, is like incredible. Um, really no complaints at all. And the second half of this film, I still think is really good, but there, are, there is like a stretch of maybe 10 or 15 minutes where I think things start to fizzle a little bit things aren't as interesting it kind of lingers on a certain kind of like plot point for maybe a little bit too long but then in the third act it really kind of picks up and um kind of explores where we are in the story a little bit more and a little bit more in depth um but yeah um i will say the ending to this film i am a bit conflicted on because in one way, I absolutely understand why the filmmaker chose to conclude the film in the way that in the way that he did. Um, I, I, I guess without giving too much away, it's a very um, it's kind of a hopeless ending and it intertwines a lot with the way that I feel like the filmmaker is examining dreams and um, the current character's downfall. So, again, I understand. I, I feel like I understand why the film ended the way that it did. But there's a huge part of me 
that just really wanted more. Like, I feel like this film had so much potential and a lot of meat that it still could have bit into. And it just kind of ended. And it, it, it felt a little underwhelming. I kind of wanted just a bit more out of it. Um, so I am a little conflicted there. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of the way that this film psychologically explores dreams, um, I think it's wonderful. Not only does it explore in, you know, the way that kind of dreams feel and in terms of how we physically feel during a dream, but also just the abnormalities of the way characters react in dreams and the situations that occur in dreams. Um, but also, the, I feel like pretty much one of the biggest themes in this film, at least in my opinion, is kind of demonstrating how flawed we are as human beings in terms of the way we perceive people. Because the way that we perceive people in our dreams tends to be the way that we perceive people in reality. And I feel like that's just kind of a huge flaw and who we are as human beings because that person that you are perceiving in your dream, they cannot control what what your perception of them is in accordance to how you're dreaming about them. And it could be for better or worse. And it's just not, it's just not appropriate um, to judge people based off that fact because I feel like our dreams are more of a reflection of ourselves in terms of our anxieties and our desires. And um, this film is kind of a demonstration of how um, the perception that people have of you is something that you absolutely cannot control. And dreams have a huge place in that. And I just really like the way that this film explored that. Um, also, this film does kind of dive into our, you know, the world of social media and the social media culture, um, almost the like Zoomer generation of how they are more, um, they're more, I guess, aware of the process and the effect of trauma. And they're more like, again, I don't know how to say this without trying to say, oh, they're snowflakey. But they're, they're definitely more aware of the emotional toll that the world and um, just the, I guess just the world, um, you know, has on themselves. And um, it dives into all that. It dives into cancel culture and things of that nature. Um, basically, it just perceives if this phenomenon were to happen um, in society, how the social media escape would also perceive it and how they would react to it and for the most part i thought it was done well um but yeah um i i really enjoyed this film i i really i really did again i think that um if it just i feel like it just needed a bit more um it had a lot of potential and i just wanted elements of the film in terms of the theme and the story and the characters to just be explored a bit more before it ended um so this is a tough one i'm still kind of struggling with the grade um but for now i'll be a little bit more reserved with my rating and i'll give it a very strong seven out of ten um this is a film that i definitely see myself re-watching it was very enjoyable uh never really boring um and i just think uh in terms of the presentation and in terms of what it offered, uh, in terms of concept, I just thought it was really unique and very effective. So um, I guess that's about it, guys. Um, that's all I got to say about Dream Scenario. I just came out with a Criterion haul. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, haven't checked that out yet, please do. Um, also, please consider joining the Discord for $5 a month on Patreon. We're actually having a film discussion tonight that I'm probably going to be late to. <laughs> Um, but we have them every Saturday. It's a, it's an absolute blast. Uh, we have them on Mondays and Wednesdays, depending on the week. And, uh, we have movie nights on Fridays. It's just an awesome time for a fellow Kino Lord. So please consider joining that. But that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this review. If you really liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more film-related content.